Gaza, a tiny area, 40 kilometres long and 11 kilometres wide, one of the most contested pieces of land in history. Held by the Ottoman Empire, it was put under British control in 1917. At the time, it had an Arab majority and a Jewish minority. But following the Second World War, thousands of Jews fled Europe in the wake of the Holocaust. The United Nations splitting Palestinian territories into Arab and Jewish states in 1947, sparking a one-year war. As Britain withdrew control, the State of Israel was founded in 1948. But as the years went on, Israel occupied more than what was agreed by the UN. And from that moment, it was under assault from its Arab neighbours. Egypt attacked Israel through the Gaza Strip, and while Israel won, Gaza remained under the control of Egypt and Palestinian refugees poured in. Numerous insurgencies and the six-day war followed. Israel making territorial conquests, occupying thousands of kilometres of Palestinian territory including Gaza, the Sinai Desert from Egypt and the West Bank and East Jerusalem from Jordan. The UN labelling some of these illegal. But in 1973, a huge blow to its security forces. It is an all-out war. That's the Yom Kippur War, an invasion by Egypt and Syria that Israel's military did not see coming. While ceasefires were agreed with Arab neighbours, tensions remained. The seeds of the current conflict were sown after Israel withdrew from Gaza in 2005 and militant group Hamas seized control. <laughs> The Israeli government started a blockade of the Gaza Strip, severely restricting supplies and the movement of more than two million people in one of the most densely occupied areas on earth. Hamas, listed as a terrorist group by countries including Australia, started a campaign to destroy the Israeli state. And Israel responded with an invasion in 2008, in which an estimated 1,000 people were killed. It invaded again in 2014, which saw 2,200 killed in Gaza, along with 73 Israelis. A flashpoint throughout has been the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, Islam's third holiest site, built on Judaism's holiest, the Temple Mount. Recent visits by hard-right members of Israel's government in flaming tensions, and is one of the reasons Hamas gave for the shocking festival assault. Almost 50 years to the day since the Yom Kippur War, another intelligence failure caught Israel's famed security apparatus off guard. Known as one of the most effective air defence systems on the planet, the Iron Dome is designed to respond to short-range threats. Since its inception in 2011, thousands of rockets have been intercepted. But like any defence system, it has its weaknesses. The intensity of Hamas's rocket barrage on Saturday proving too much. The question many have right now, how long will this battle continue?